Okay, here's these uh, 20 millimeter high bass speakers. We're going to do a test. This first one here is just a single in a uh, an enclosure. Right, that's that first one. Now there's this isobaric one that I've made. Alright, and now I've built a, um, a twin speaker box. That's pretty good. And if you were to just use one of these, now this is one, you can see the, the size of this one here that I've actually cut this down. That's a, that's well, three quarters of an inch. So you can cut these these square speakers down. Now I'll put this on here and you just hear it without. So you can put an enclosure around it. You've got to have an enclosure. That proves you've got to have an enclosure with these. But there's um, that's cutting it down, so that'll fit inside a uh, boiler of a loco. Out of those, that um, isobaric with the um, baffle in between the back there and the front one, I'm trying to get that air to push between there. And the more air uh, that's being pushed is the more sound, uh, and that's where I've been trying to sort of discover and and work out. But I like that. It's a nice tight fit. That's okay. You get that into a tender of a loco, uh, and you I'll put them into a Kato loco, a, a, a pair of these. So it's um, you get good sound. Well, I'll go back to this, um, this other one here again. Which is going to be the way. This is good sound out of um, this fella. That's not, a, that's not as loud, but I like the clarity that's coming out of that. I don't get that zzz that, that you get out of, out of that. I'm not getting the zzz, the hum, or the buzz. Anyhow, there you go. And that's just a quick little test to show you. I do like the isobaric setup that I've, um, I've come up with there. That's that other one that I made, uh, working uh, the two back pressures in the speakers was the idea on that one. Uh, there you go. Cheers.